Hi, this is the artist Megan Munro, who has created the artworks in the exhibition Out of the Shadows. The purpose of this film clip is to provide an audio description. I am not audio description trained, however, I am doing my best to make my exhibition accessible and providing the audio descriptions the best I can. What I'm describing in this clip is a digital drawing called Lee's Flowers. It is in a landscape orientation and it is printed on an A2 piece of paper. The drawing itself overall has a range of colours. It has dark red, mid pink, a lighter pink, white, several shades of red actually, several shades of pink, dark blue, light blue, purple, green and a tealy colour. What we see in this drawing is it's distinctly roses or flowers, although it's a bit of an abstract drawing in that they are not realistic looking, they are almost cartoon-like. And the roses, the shapes of them have been created with sort of opposing colours. So in the right hand, on the right hand side, right hand sort of towards the top of the image, there is a rose that is navy, dark red, pink and a lighter pink. And we see that the outsides of the petals are white. Underneath that, in the bottom sort of right corner, is another rose, which is dark red, light blue, several shades of pink, and each petal is um, outlined in white. To the left of that is a small part of a rose. It's not the whole rose, it's just a part of it, and it's blending into the side of the rose next to it. It's dark red and pink. Next to that is what looks like some leaves um, coming up and they are different shades of red with a white outline. In the centre of the picture is a, a big rose and it is a dark teal colour, light pink, dark red, mid pink and it is all the petals are outlined in white to the top right of that is another set of red leaves framed with um, outlined in white. In the left top left hand corner is a section that where there are a whole lot of odd purple shapes sitting on top of the garden or the roses and we can't really see what's going on in the background but it's a whole lot of different shapes so there's purple on the top with a black outline and then there's a swirl of red teal there's some dark red shapes in behind there and some pink and in the bottom left corner of the drawing is a very plain patch of blue dark blue um, it looks sort of painterly so you can see different shades of blue when you look at it closely but it's all different colored blues and then Sprinkled across is the drawing on top of the roses is a couple more of the odd purple shapes. In the rose in the top right, there's also a couple of little bits where we see small details of shapes that are blue, sort of small blue circles and orange oblong shapes. Now what that actually is, is that's a small part of an image of gut bacteria. Um, I have a lot of problems with my gut, which are part of my illness. And gut bacteria often comes into my drawings. Also because my art is about me, my environment, what I notice, my health, how I'm impacted by my health. Um, some of these things creep into my drawings so whilst I have 
the time to notice beautiful things in my garden and whatnot and I tend to I like to focus on the positives I'm always sick and I have bad days and I have slightly better days the other thing that's in this drawing the odd purple shape sitting on the top they are actually the details of bits of shadow and I've used them in a number of of drawings shadow shapes I take photos of the shadows and then I put them into my computer and I trace them around and I put color into them and then I put them in different parts of my drawings um, I've got shadows in a few of my drawings because I feel a bit like I've had to move out from being in the shadows hence the name of the exhibition I'm a performer sometimes or I have performed in the past and now I spend a lot of time on my own and there's a real extreme between being in the spotlight and then being at home and feeling a bit invisible like you've been forgotten. So I've been drawn to shadows as a bit of a metaphor and they've appeared in a number of my drawings. So that's this draw. Oh and this drawing Lee's Flowers is actually based on a bunch of flowers that my friend Lee bought for me a few years ago now for my birthday um, and they were just beautiful and I wanted to draw them so that's where they've come from. End of image description.